What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Jiren full power. So I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil and eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand and stuff. So we're gonna try and fit in like most of them anyway. It's kind of awkward because his head is so small compared to the rest of his body. So head is like right up here, so I'll have to zoom in, right? So um uh, yeah, let's just go. So his head is like right up in here. So we'll like zoom into here, okay? And we'll go with his frown line on top of his eye first. So we'll just like curve it around here. And it goes along the top of his eye. So we'll like curve it down and then back up, kind of there. And then at the corner here, we go diagonal back down. And then we will bring it across and then we go up into there okay and he has so he has like a, a black section in his eye and a white section and it's kind of just in the corner here so it goes down here and it kind of just goes back along into this kind of hard to do with a sharpie but there it is anyway Ba, ba, ba. So this is like all black inside, right? Like in here, and we have a white highlight. Just there. So I'll just color that in. Right, so we'll go over and do the other eye. So another sort of frowning area, tick down, curve up real close to this one, right? And it goes up. over the top of his eye, back down, and curves up that way. And then we will go diagonal that way again. And then it'll come across and up into the corner there. And again, we have a black section just coming down there. Comes over just into this corner here. It's like the white of his eye. It's just around the outside of the black, right? And then there's a highlight just up in this corner. And then you color it in dark. Okay, so we've got like some frowning lines in the middle of his face. And some frown lines on top of his eyes here. So, and then there's some more sort of wrinkles and stuff for his nose there. And for a nose, we just have nostrils, so it's different to other Dragon Ball characters. It's just like that, nostril lines. And then his mouth is real close to his nose, so it goes out this way. And there's open screaming, so we go diagonal. Diagonal that way. And then we'll bring it down. This way, and then we go in, in, and then bring it over for his bottom lip so it kind of like curves a little bit, like that. Okay, and then we got to add his teeth right inside. So, top teeth we can see like the molars at the back coming up the side, and then we go over, cross it over, like so and then some more molars at the back. Get some lines on those. We can actually see some of his gum lying on the top of his mouth. So you just add these and they'll be colored pink, you know, just for his gum line. So then his bottom teeth. So we'll go across to there and his tongue. there and his mouth back there is just colored real dark nearly black but it's like reddish black so he's got like some lines just stretch marks around his mouth there like some shadow on his chin and then speaking of chin just down here square line for his chin 
So we got we got all his facial features in now. So we're just like framing his face, right? So we'll do his jaw, the side there, the side there. Then we change direction and we go up towards his ear. Change direction up towards his ear. Okay. His ear pops out here. So it's root they're just square sort of you know they look like freezes kind of ears like that. Sticks out like so. And then his round head, right? So it goes just curves up. around here and then we hit so there's like veins on his head in this form right so we'll go up the other side as well curve it around trying to keep it as even as we can both sides right and there's these veins that are sticking off his head so say like let's say there's like one here so bumping so it goes down that way the other one the other line of it there Right, so like a vein like that. And then another one, so here. Just lines like this kind of thing. And then the top of his head will go curve over. And down to those veins, just join them together, okay? He has like scratch marks all over his face because you know this is when he was fighting Goku with Ultra Instinct. So, you know, just like he's taking some punches, and then he's got cheek marks, tick marks on his cheeks here as well. Like that. Okay, anatomy. Let's go down. So we can see most of his body in this because I wanted to fit in his fists because he's screaming real hard. So. So lots of anatomy, and that's always intricate and tricky. So take your time. So. Let's start with his neck. So we'll go down from his ear. So he's like crazy big, okay? So he's like unbelievably big. So neck there, right? Trapezius goes down this way. Right down like that. Neck muscles then go towards his chest, right? Neck here and neck here, okay? So the center line for his chest comes down like this way, okay? Down the middle. And then we'll go up the top, across. Now there's like muscles on his muscles. There's like bumps on his chest, like this kind of stuff, okay? And this will go up like so. over to his shoulder nearly. Then we do the same thing on the other side, across. So it kind of bumps a little bit. Like so. Okay, and we'll get in, we might as well get in those pectoral muscles down here. So the bottom of his chest comes down and goes up and around sort of bumping for these kind of chest muscles there and there's muscles that come across like so. And we've pretty much the same thing on this side. So we go, so center line and then down. We'll try and keep them the same sort of level. change their direction and go up. Right, kind of like that. And then it comes around. So we'll go around here, adding muscle fibers and stuff like that. Okay, so crazy big. 
get some more muscle fibers coming off this way. Okay. So, side of his body, right? So he's got real wide abdomen. Like these are like his, his lats, right? His, real big, it's like his, his ribs are massive. So it goes like down this way. And another sort of bumping section here. Right, like that. And then his hips, real narrow. So he's got this like bodybuilder sort of form okay and then he has ripped stuff coming across here so like trousers just ripped up bumping we might as well finish this down here so we'll go across adding these torn waistband parts of them right, and then his legs will go like, just off down this way say in line with his hips so it goes that way as well and then you might have like a leg line starting there right so we have abs all inside here so you have his diaphragm first in this kind of style of muscle so what that means is there's a line here and then it curves down and out there. So it curves down and out here. Okay, that's his diaphragm. It's like what you use to breathe, you know, fills your lungs. And then we have ab lines, right, in the center. And they come around the bottom and up towards the diaphragm for the first set. Right, like that. There might be some lines like coming out here as well. So real big abdominal muscles. And then we have the next set. So it comes down, round up to there, round up to there, and then out down. Next set, just down there. And then he has like lines like on his for like his ribs kind of but they're just muscle there's like all scratch marks and stuff on his chest too maybe like another line there scratch marks scratch marks right so that's the width of his body, and I'm not exaggerating, that is how wide it is, right? It's like way past, it's like way out, right? Uh, underneath his shoulders. Okay, so speaking of shoulders, so let's, I'll just finish this one, missed that. Okay, so shoulders real big and wide, right? Absolutely massive, with basketballs stuck here. Right, so then there's another line that goes back that way. And like, that'll go nearly into here, actually. Some more neck muscle there, and actually an Adam's apple here, sorry. So, they're like that. Right, so then, bicep. Curves out down there, and then it like goes into his shoulder there. Another maybe chest muscle line or arm muscle line there. So his tricep comes out from here, and you have a tricep line just there. There's like some scratches on his bicep. Like that, and then forearm. So he's like clenching his fists, right? So. So then this bicep 
kind of goes more that way. And then he's got gloves on, right? So he's got these white gloves. Just here, and then his elbow sticks out down here. Goes in. And like his forearm then goes into the glove there like that. Maybe like a forearm line or something there. Right, and then we have two clenched fists. I'll just do, so the, the glove starts here. I'll just do the other arm just to keep things symmetrical. So it goes around really big again. Boop. Make another shoulder muscle line. It'll go up, down into there. Make something else down that way. And then his bicep again. comes out on this side right like so and tricep will come out here again and then we have like a bicep line forearm line and then this goes down to an elbow and up towards the glove right so the glove again, same sort of thing, just wraps around his forearm. Out to here and up. Right. So like forearm line, you know, like elbow stuff there. Okay, so we gotta do like fists now. Okay, so we'll start start over here, so So we'll just bring this glove up the back of the fist here. Okay, so it goes in kind of like that. And then we meet like a fold on his glove. It goes in and up. That way. Like his hand goes around there. Right, so then the fist up the back of his hand. Comes out for a knuckle. Which goes in that way. And then another knuckle. Goes up towards his finger. And then we have four knuckles coming down here. So one, two, three, and what way is the fourth? So this is the little finger. We can actually see it curled underneath. And so it's his, it's his pinky sort of finger. So we can see it folded back into his hand just here. Right, and then like the palm of his hand comes down there. And like folds just on his glove there. Right, so then each finger so it comes across one, two, three, and you could have like some knuckle lines and stuff. on each finger. Kinda like that. Okay, and then his thumb just sticks out here. Like so. Okay, so big bicep. Okay, so we'll do, attempt to do something similar over the other side. Okay, so mostly the same. So we go up this side, at the back of the hand, comes up, meets a knuckle, which goes down that way. And then another knuckle, which goes up here, and then bring it down. To there and then this comes up knuckle there another one here another one there 
and the pinky. So the little finger again curves around here. You can see it kind of just curved in underneath there. Like so, and then this goes up and across for each finger. Lines. So, and then the palm of his hand comes down around underneath here. Like so, and then like another knuckle line, sort of one, two, three, like one there. Something else, maybe like here. So, and it's, so like the glove then has some like bumps and wrinkles and stuff coming down it. And then his thumb, same sort of thing down here, around to there. Boop. Right, so. Pretty sure that's everything. If you want, of course, aura can be added. So like this sort of bubbling. Sort of thing just coming around here. Coming around like his fist and everything. So down here, it's just kind of coming around, but when you get up to this section, it starts to like bubble up into the air. Going up this way, because you know, gravity goes, the energy of it goes up. to do auras now as well so yeah you could do it different to me this just goes up off my page there maybe back like that and then you could have some escape escape aura <laughs> just going that go and that's optional obviously they're just like directional sort of things you could do way more of this than what I'm doing anyway I think that's enough that's how to draw Jiren full power hope it's helpful guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.